guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my November favorites. So these are all the products that I have been loving throughout November and also October as well because I didn't film an October favorites. If you guys have been following me, you know that the end of October was a very hectic time. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and throw this reminder in there that my two girls are still missing. So if anyone has any information or if you just want to continue sharing, that would mean so, so much to us. We are still trying to find them and bring them back home. So I just wanted to throw that reminder in there for you guys who haven't heard yet. Um, and those of you who have been helping us by sharing it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it so, so much, and I feel like we are getting closer to finding our girls. But um, anyways, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jackie. Sorry, I just kind of threw that sad story onto you guys. Our hearts are really breaking, but don't worry, I'm a very high-spirited person, so I won't be drowning you with my sadness or my stories all the time. But um, if you are new, welcome. My name is Jackie. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can officially become part of the Little Flower family. Ding! And you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. And if you haven't entered my huge holiday giveaway yet, you guys definitely should. I will leave a link in the cards for you guys to go and click. It's a massive one, so go check that video out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my November favorites. I have been loving a couple different powders lately, so I wanted to talk about them. The first one, let's talk about the one I'm wearing, actually. The one I'm wearing right now is from Pure Cosmetics. It's their 4-in-1 Press Mineral Makeup, and it has beautiful rhinestones on it. This was to celebrate, I believe it was their 10-year anniversary. And I have two different shades here, Golden Medium and Light Tan, and I really can't decipher which shade is mine. Today I'm wearing Golden Medium. I don't know why, I'm just having the hardest time figuring out which shade I am. These powders are amazing, you guys. It has such beautiful coverage, but it's so lightweight and not cakey whatsoever, so you can build this beautiful, full coverage look without feeling weighed down by powder or looking cakey in your pores or anything like that. It's so smooth and just so soft on the skin and I really, really been liking these a lot and the packaging is just so beautiful. The other powder I've been obsessed with is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This has SPF 50 in it and it's it says sheer to full coverage, which is totally true because you can get like this light natural wash all over your skin or you can pack it on and get that full buildable coverage and again just like the pure cosmetics one it's so lightweight it doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup and it doesn't cake up and that's what I really really like because I love to put on a lot of makeup but I don't always want to look like I'm caking on 50 layers of makeup so that's why I really like these powders they're very very soft and has beautiful coverage too I'm trying to open it so I can show you guys okay so you get a giant mirror and the powder and then you get a little sponge applicator underneath. This is medium and this is tan. I don't even know how many videos I've talked about this mascara combo, but I am so in love with the Blink Mascara and Primer. These are just incredible, and I've been trying so many different mascaras lately, but these two have definitely stood out to me. Um, so the white one is your primer, so you coat your lashes first, and it makes your lashes look white, but it really just helps to condition and volumize and lengthen your lashes before you even put your mascara on. So I'll start off with this, and then I'll go over it with the um, Blink Mascara Ampli and oh it just makes my lashes look so long and beautiful and if I'm not gonna wear fake lashes I usually wear fake lashes because I'm kind of addicted but if I'm not gonna wear fake lashes I'll definitely just use this mascara because it's so amazing like I have very short stubborn Asian lashes so they're like hardly there but with this you can actually see my lashes and I get compliments on my lashes with this like that doesn't happen for me. I never get compliments on my natural lashes, but with these, I definitely do. And one of my favorite things about the Blink Mascara is that it's a tube mascara, so when you remove it, you just use a bunch of water and it just slides off your lashes and it doesn't leave any weird sticky residue, which some mascaras do. So, ugh, I cannot rave about these products enough, you guys. If you haven't tried them out yet, you definitely, definitely need to. This is gonna be a weird favorite to share because you guys know how loyal I am to the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It is my holy grail product, and it still is. Don't get me wrong, it's still my holy grail. But I have a current favorite that I have been grabbing a lot the past month or so, and it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics, which is a super, super affordable brand. And I think it's, I don't, I rubbed off the name because I've been using it so much, but I think this is just called like the marker 
eyeliner pen. I will leave a link down below if you guys want any of the products that I mentioned today. But this is just like a fell tip eyeliner pen, but it's very soft and flexible. So it curves to the shape of your eye no matter what eye shape you have. And I feel like it's just really, really easy to use. And eyeliner is such a tricky thing. So if you are a beginner trying to get the hang of eyeliner and winged eyeliner too, I would say pick up the e.l.f. one because like I said, it's so affordable and it's just so easy to use. I feel like because it's so flexible, because most uh, felt tip eyeliner pens that you find are very stiff, I feel like because this one is so flexible, it kind of curves to the shape of your eye. I don't know. I just think it's really easy to use. So if you're a beginner, pick this up and let me know, is this beginner friendly? Because I believe that it is. So I want to hear from you guys too. Another e.l.f. product that I have been loving, I just love e.l.f. cosmetics, but I have been loving their e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. Hands down, my favorite cleansing cloths I've ever used. Not only is it super affordable, it's drugstore, it's cruelty free, all that awesome stuff, but these are just so soft on the skin. Like, they don't irritate my skin at all. They're not too rough or anything like that. And even though it's such a soft cleansing cloth, it still removes all my makeup so effectively, and I really, really like these. Unfortunately, I'm out of them already, but this I wanted to save the packaging so I could show you guys But these are amazing and they're by far my favorite cleansing cloths I've ever tried another one of my favorite brands that I wanted to talk about is it cosmetics You guys know how much I love it cosmetics and I talk a lot about their makeup products But what I don't talk a lot about on this channel is their skincare products And I've been trying out some of them and I'm so in love like I'm so impressed with their line in general But the first one I want to talk about is the it cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. This is a 3-in-1 makeup melting cleansing balm. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. Well, you can't really see, but it's so, so soft on your skin and gentle, but it cleanses everything, even removes waterproof makeup, and it just melts into your skin like butter, but it's so, like, fluffy and lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin. I've tried some other like cleansing balms. I know Clinique has one. There's one from Lush that I'm currently using and they're just so heavy on my skin. I mean, I know I'm removing my makeup so I'm going to be washing it off anyways, but like the process of taking it all off it's like so gross and goopy removing your makeup at the end of the night is such a chore like I just hate doing it but this does not make me miserable when I remove my makeup it's just so easy to do and because it's so lightweight I don't feel like it's like weighing my skin down as I remove the makeup I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining this but I'm just obsessed with this makeup remover it is my favorite at the moment and it's just amazing and it smells like lemons. Did you guys know Pledge is one of my favorite scents in the whole wide world? Pledge, the cleaner that you use for like wood and stuff like that. And it's because it's lemon scented. I love things that are lemon scented, like lemons and citrusy smells. Oh my gosh, so, so good. So this smells like lemons and I love it. And actually all their skincare smells like lemons because the next product I wanna share with you guys is um, the Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. So this is the anti-aging armor um, and it's for all skin types. Again, it smells like lemons, you guys. Oh, amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. I got a little bit on my nose just now. But this cream is so hydrating on the skin. I have dry skin. It says it's for all skin types, um, which I'm sure it is. But I just love this so much at the end of the night. It's so refreshing because it smells like lemons, but it's so hydrating at the same time. And my dry skin definitely loves the way this feels on my skin. It's just so creamy and nice and thick on the skin, but it's not too heavy. It says you can use it in the morning and night, and I do use it morning and night, but I feel like if you have more oily skin, you might appreciate this more in the evening time rather than the morning time, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> I have a really, really weird random product to share with you guys. This is so funny. I picked this up with Johnny. We went to Ulta and I just saw it like as we were like walking in the checkout line. You know how they have the little baskets of like little tiny mini things? They had this, which is poopery. Have you guys seen that commercial? It's hilarious. Basically, if you have to go number two, you spray this in the toilet first and then you do your business and it won't smell bad at all. And I want, I was with Johnny, I was like, Johnny, you need this. And he's like, does it really work? I'm like, well, I don't know. I just, I've seen the commercial. And he's like, pick it up, let's try it. I wanted to share this because not only does it work, like it actually does work, it doesn't smell gross in the bathroom anymore whenever someone has to go number two. Um, so it really actually works, but this smell, we got the tropical hibiscus 
oh my gosh, it smells so good. Again, citrus smells, mm, I just love. I think this would be such a funny like gag gift because it's funny, but it's actually something people will use and it's actually gonna work, you know what I mean? So I think I might get this for my dad and put it in his stocking because it'll be funny, but then my whole family will thank me later, you know? And my last favorite is a favorite YouTuber. I have been obsessed with her for the past two months now. Her name is Brianna Fox and I just love all of her videos. Her makeup tutorials are so on point and they're so educational. Like I actually learn a lot about like the techniques of applying makeup and things like that and watching her videos because I feel like I've been in a little bit of a rut because a lot of my makeup looks kind of tend to look the same but watching Brianna's videos inspires me so much because every single makeup look she does is so so different from the last. They're all so bold and beautiful, but all different. And that's what I appreciate so much about her channel. So I get so many different ideas um, when I watch her videos and I will play her tutorials as I'm getting ready. And I've just been absolutely obsessed with her. When I first came across her channel, I don't know what it was, but the way she moves her mouth and the way she talks reminds me of someone so much, but I can't put my finger on who it reminds me of. I think like a celebrity. I want to say like Emma Stone, maybe. Maybe it's Emma Stone that I'm thinking of. You guys got to go over to her channel, check it out, watch the way she moves her mouth. It reminds me of someone, and I want to confirm, is it Emma Stone that I'm thinking of? I know I'm being so creepy right now, but I watch her mouth move, and I'm like, who does this remind me of? But... That's besides the point. Her videos in general are so, so awesome, and I highly recommend you guys check them out. So I will leave the link to her channel in the description box and also in the cards. I would love it so, so much if you guys head over to her channel and leave a comment on her newest video saying Jack Jack sent you. That would be so, so awesome. I would love to see all the little flower family head over there. I'm going to go look for you guys' comments, okay? I'm going to go look. So leave her a bunch of comments and subscribe to her because I know you guys are going to love her. And I think that's all I have to share for my November favorites. Let me know in the comments what products you guys have been loving throughout the month of November and again if you haven't entered my huge holiday giveaway you definitely should click the link in the cards to go and enter and I will see you guys in my next video bye